Hello dear ones and welcome to yet another session. So let's get started. Today I choose to speak about the Pisces man. Now what is this Pisces man? Well, the Pisces man, he is a poet. He is a mystery man. <laughs> he is a mystical person. He is a poet a romantic poet, I would say, with a spiritual heart. This is what is a Pisces man. Some of you would find this man uh, to be um, quite opposite of what I said, quite cold and distant. Uh, some of you might find this person <laughs> to be um, very strong-willed. Uh, some would find him very weak-willed. <laughs> Wow, a lot of contradictions coming up, right? Uh, some of you might find him very well-dressed, very polite, very courteous. While some of you might find him very um, egoist, uh, very quarrelsome, you know, wants to jump into arguments, uh, doesn't give you space to speak. Uh, some of you might find him like that. So what is he exactly? And why do we find him so different? Each of us might find him very different. Some can find him very shabbily dressed, while others can find him dressed like a king, dressed like a model, just like an actor, you know, uh, like, you know, walking the ramp, yeah? Always smelling good, uh, has the good perfume on, has good clothes on himself, uh, is speaking very well to everyone, is very polite with everyone, while some of them can find him very uh, brash, uh, very you know, uh, disinterested in speaking to people. Well, some can find him uh, not really well-dressed and doesn't bother about his clothes at all, yeah? So these are, all these things are a Pisces man. He's full of contradictions in himself, all right? But why is that so? Because this man doesn't let his real self get out there. Well, if you meet him for the first time, you will feel uh, he's taking my interview because he will ask you many, many questions. He will ask you many questions. He will speak about politics. He would speak about pollution. He would speak about animal welfare. He would speak about your job. He would speak everything and anything he can speak under this earth. This is what, because it's him. He's interested in everything. <laughs> That's the problem. He's interested in everything, my dear ones. And this man will be... Um, as an interviewer, when you meet him for the first time, he will interview you, he'll ask you many questions, like what do you like, what are your hobbies, what is this, what is that, you know, so many, so many, so many questions. You will feel at the end of the talk, it's like, was I for an interview or <laughs> what did I come here for? <laughs> but then this man does that because he wants to know you. He's very curious. He wants to know are you the kind of a person he can open his heart to? Are you the kind of a woman who can swim with him for a longer time in deep waters? Are you the kind of a woman when it comes for him, his dating time, it's, are you the kind of a woman who is ready to take the rough waters that he swims in sometimes? Or are you just somebody who can not swim or are you somebody who likes to stay just on the superficial level? He will keep on and on and on, you know, until he gets to know the real you. So you will feel you have been in an interview <laughs> and then after some time you might know what was the result of this interview also because of his behavior will show you very, very clearly. About the Pisces man, I've noticed that he doesn't have, like, he'll be friends with everyone, okay? He's very kind, very gentle. Uh, so he can be friends with everyone. This is the Pisces man I know, but some of them will say, kind, what kind is he? <laughs> so he will have a lot of friends. He will, you know, speak to everyone, but nobody will know him. Nobody really knows him. What is he? Well, is he like a Scorpio man, mysterious? I would say more than mysterious. Because he's someone who will not let you know what he is all about. He really protects his heart, okay? He's 
everything is protected he will never show all his cards immediately he takes time he will take a long long time even after getting married to a pisces man you will not understand you will not know whether you are really in a marriage with him do you really know him who is this man do i know him yesterday he was this today he is that tomorrow he is going to be something else hmm sounds like a gemini man right but he is like that he is very much like that and it becomes very difficult to fathom what this man is because he doesn't show all his cards at once he keeps his heart to himself he will open up very very slowly and gradually he takes long time he really takes long time in order to really you know um let you know what he is all about he can cover it up with you know a very cold cold persona he can be like that or he can show you that he is very warm and he is telling you everything but no he is not telling you everything let me tell you let me disappoint you here he is not telling you everything and you don't know him you don't know him yet if you have just started dating him you don't know him yet but then as he learns more about you as he looks into your eyes and tries to see that yes she is capable my partner is capable of swimming with me into those deep shallow waters in those deep waters those troubled seas that i go through then he will start opening then he starts opening up to you otherwise no he will not open he will just you know you will see somebody very you know like an acquaintance in front of you he will laugh he will he'll be nice he'll be poetic he'll be romantic with you but the deep feelings will come only when he starts to trust you this is what happens with him he is a very private person private in his friend group he will know tens of thousands of people but his friends will be two or three who know him really otherwise the others don't know him really okay it's a very very private person and regarding his feelings also he's like that his feelings are also very private very only his partner can know it who is with him for very very long time okay and then the partner knows how to manage this man because it's very very difficult he is extremely difficult to manage i have to tell you before sorry my dear pisces man i'm spilling your beans <laughs> but he is difficult to manage because he works on emotions true emotions he is a visionary so he can see where is this relationship going is it going to last and how long is it going to last is this person going to be able to manage me really you need to be a good manager you need to be a real good manager uh, a bit of dictator <laughs> when you are with a pisces man and if you want him really uh, for a long term in a committed relationship then you have to be all this okay sounds very rude right but you have to be that because this man is um he's a fish right he's a pisces so he is swimming and for a sea you know there is no limit you can swim and you can swim and you can swim far further further a lot of beautiful fishes around also a lot of beautiful aquatic plants also up there there are the stars also yes so everything is very dreamy till you are dating but when you are in a committed relationship with the pisces that comes when he trusts you because the trust is an issue with him the thing is that he doesn't trust anyone very quickly especially for a partner okay otherwise he he can lose his money just like that by trusting a friend who just makes a face oh i am in a problem can you please give me some you know lend me some money and i uh, see i cannot buy this or you know and he is so generous this man that he will give even if he has very little money on his bank account he will still give it and then afterwards he's fooled because he has been very trusting this is what happens with him also uh somebody who is very very uh, you know shows very needy or very much in a broken phase this man's heart goes out then he forgets uh, what is he doing actually this is the gentleness of his heart can which can make him um you know which can ruin him actually in my in my opinion it's like it can ruin him because anybody can take he the the and do advantage of his uh, you know loving heart of his generous heart 
he will do whatever it takes to help someone in need and then at the end of the day he doesn't have anything to eat it can be like that he can be so sacrificing for somebody's you know for uh, he can run somebody else's house by by uh, making his own house uh, you know go to a big big mess so as i said that this man is full of contradictions so once he has trusted you don't break his trust okay but yet at the same time i will say you have to be a bit of a good manager if you are not a good manager you are like okay you swim where you want to and i swim where i want to or i do what i want well this this couple will not work write it down he needs a strong partner extremely strong partner he needs okay because this man is all about heart feelings emotions yet a visionary yet a spiritual being so can you imagine with all that you have to take all those things and you have to pin them down but you don't allow him to go here and there many a times he gets fooled like an emotional fool he he gets fooled in a relationship just because he is to giving once he trusts he starts giving and then afterwards his heart breaks and that is really really painful for him his first heart break is the most painful for him if he goes through that after that he will get into casual datings which is not his usual style he will get into casual flings dating he will wear his heart on his sleeves that's as easy as that because this is a broken heart now and he will just you know try to forget that by just meeting n number of people as potential partners he will meet them he will get into flirtious encounters uh, and this is why he can be turned as a flirt also but this is wrong because you haven't seen that the first relationship that he was in he was so much devoted everything he gave and then what did he get he got a big big deception and this deception has created a mess in his life and that memory that scar stays on him and then he enters into all this mess and he ma he messes it even more until you are the kind of a person you are the kind of a woman who can really pin him down you can give him the strength that yes i can swim with you i'm a good swimmer <laughs> yeah i can swim with you on the superficial waters in the deeper waters in the trouble waters in the stormy waters in whatever the sea storms i can swim with you when he gets into that then it's very easy to get his commitment towards you you get the commitment from him and once you get a commitment from him that is a wonderful time because then he is you know all romantic it's a wonderful time when you get married to a pisces man because he's very romantic he will be very caring very loving you will feel you are in a fairy tale really because uh, the way he will be you know he will be all poetic he will you know try his level best uh, to make you feel that you are in a dreamland you are in a fairy tale because this is what it is all about go to his house his house is also like a fairy tale i feel it's like a dreamland because this is a place where you are in tune with the nature he is somebody who is who can be very very allergic to all kinds of um uh you know uh, strong uh, you know chemical stuff and uh you know chemical smells and this kind of things odors so he is somebody who will keep his house uh, he would like to have his house really you know Uh, in tune in harmony with nature so many uh, many of the times when you go in his house you'll feel it's more of the feng shui types or the vastu shastra type uh, he has you know uh, managed his house and you will find a lot of plants in his house uh, then you will see also you know like whatever is in tune of the nature whatever is natural uh, attracts this man or you will also see very many very many artistic pieces or a beautiful picture of god somewhere you know Uh, or in his room uh, you will see maybe some crystals also because he is quite attracted to that so if you have to gift him something <laughs> give him something you know like crystals or something which is mystical in nature that's the best gift for him i feel and um, you will see some you know you will see his house is decorated like that provided his wife is also on the same page than him because if she's very extravagant uh, well i have to tell you my dear 
Your Pisces man is going to start looking outside for a more uh, a partner who is more you know in harmony with his thoughts, because the Pisces man is also a term to be a man who has everything in twos. Okay, he can have two houses, uh, he can have two jobs, he can have um, two women whom he loves. Yeah, not necessarily two wives, but two women he can have in his life. Uh, two is quite a thing for a Pisces man, okay? Uh, you will say it's quite similar to the Gemini man. And yes, it is also quite similar to him. Because there is the duality. Those The Gemini is also the duality. The Pisces is also the two fishes. The duality is over here. Everything, in fact, if you see the, the other zodiac signs also, the Libra is also the duality, the two balances. Yeah, if you see, there are only few signs who are the single ones, right? So, um... Here we can see is that this man can have that unless he really has a, a, a moon in his uh, in the earth sign, all right. So if he has a moon in Virgo or Capricorn um, or a Taurus, then he will be more steady in his mind, in his thought process. But otherwise, it's like you know the fish is nicely swimming and he goes and he goes uh, in all the directions. And how is this man? Hmm. As a father, as a father, once you have a child, oh, he will be a very, very loving father. He is very tender and very, very gentle to the point of spoiling them also. <laughs> he is very gentle, very emotional because he is an emotional being. He is a bag of emotions, a bag of wonderful, mystical, deep and at times complex and confused emotions. This is what the Spices man is. So you need to really, really know about him. Is that how do I handle him? You have to know his emotions. And when the baby is born, uh, it's very strange for him because when he sees the baby, it's like, um, you know, it's like another emotional bag, a smaller one than me has come. So he will try to see and he's very, he, he can find himself a bit helpless also because he's over emotional. Maybe he will start crying looking at the baby. Or if the baby is crying, he will also start crying. He's so fragile and in his sensitivity so much. This heart uh, can easily break when something happens to the child. Yeah, so because he's very, very tender hearted, just like the Cancerian man, that tender heart exists in him. And um, regarding disciplining his children is difficult, right, my dear Pisces man? <laughs> it's a bit difficult because you can be very, very permissive. Discipline is not the thing for the Pisces man. And because of that, he can almost spoil the children by pampering them to the core. When his children say, I want like this, I don't want to study, you know, okay, fine, fine, fine. Because for him, he's from the sea, so everything is limitless. Live and let live is his agenda, is his motto, is his punchline. All right? So, this is how he is and you can't change it because this is how he is. He is a hopeless, <laughs> emotional being. He is a very tender, emotional father. And this is why if his partner is not enough disciplining uh, or, um, you know, not enough strong to manage the children and him, at the same time he is her second baby, yeah, uh, or right, rather I would say he's her first baby. So if she cannot manage that, then the house is like a nomadic, nomadic house. So discipline is very much required, my dear Pisces man. That uh, many times the Pisces man has difficulties to put it on himself and on others. Why say himself? Because even in the job, he doesn't, he will not like to be an employee. The timings are not his thing. He's too spontaneous you have to give him freedom. If you're the boss of a Pisces man, try to give him maximum freedom. And you will see he will work wonders that you never thought anybody else could do it. He will work wonders. You just give him freedom. Okay, my dear Pisces man, um, you go and, you know, you, okay, in these many days, you try to give me the results. You can come anytime, you can leave anytime. When this foundation of the frame is removed, then wow, this man is the best. Because as I said, he's a visionary. 
then he will work out his visions in amazing magical ways this is what he is in magical ways he's going to do that and you'll be surprised wow otherwise he feels like a prisoner nine to six jobs nine to seven jobs unless he's really really in need he will do the night shifts he needs sleep he really needs sleep because he needs to dream daydreaming yes because where do those visions come from daydreaming yeah you might see your colleague your pisces colleague man is just looking out of the window and you feel oh something's wrong but no actually he is dreaming he is he is calculating things ahead of him he is having those visions of how to make this thing work in a different way this is what it is all about at home he will be the same you are speaking in front of him at the table and he is looking at you and you feel oh my husband oh my partner is listening to me so well but actually he's not listening <laughs> is not listening at all he's not with you at all <laughs> he's gone he's far off he's deep into the sea <laughs> or he's thinking of a far fetch place in one second he can just travel everywhere and you will ask him so what was i saying he has heard two or three words he will repeat them and you feel oh he was listening to me he's such a good listener no he's a good dreamer and he's a very good actor and he's a very good prankster also he can play pranks on you he'll make fun of you but in a good way but he can be quite quarrelsome also in what he believes he is too rigid he can be extremely egoist that can make you like err what is that you know <laughs> very difficult to digest that but he can be like that i mean imagine it's wonderful isn't it it's like so many things he can be and um if your family members that he doesn't like also come to your place he will still be polite he will try his level best because as i said he can be a very good actor also so he will act it out pretty well also but after they go he will tell you like ah you know i don't like them i don't like your brother or i don't like the sister in law oh she's so loud or oh she doesn't have good energies that also because he feels everything is about feelings for him and this is where his trap and his strength lies the weakness and this his strength is about feelings he feels too much and sometimes a very clever woman even if he's in a committed relationship can take him out of that relationship or divert his attention from his committed partner towards herself just by knowing about the feeling part can manipulate him if she's a manipulator this is why i say the partner of the pisces man has to be extremely strong has to be extremely vigilant i mean i'm not saying you have to be a jailer okay <laughs> this man needs freedom but at the same time you shouldn't be too how can i put it unwise okay to okay uh, she's my best friend and can you drop her home and things like that no way don't do that he is a magnetic personality he is a person who can make anybody fall in love with him don't do that don't play with your friend's life also you go and drop her with your husband make her sit behind you sit with him in the front seat or you walk down being in the center and she's on the other side don't give him that chance because this is the problem most of the pisian women uh, uh, most of the pisian man's partners sorry they have this problem they can be too over trusting on their partner because of course he, he can be trusted is a good man but you have to know that this man is full of emotions this man can you know fall an easy prey to somebody who is in trouble so you need to be very vigilant my dear partner of the pisin man or would be partner of the pisin man you have to be there you do the main job don't push him into somebody's arms never do that don't be over trusting many a times it, what happens is that you feel oh my pisin man usually pisin man uh, they work away from the house they can be working abroad that happens many times i know of a person with whom he, it happened not just one but there are many but this one person who really you know um 
yeah this one person who is really showing me that how difficult it can get because the paisin man uh, he works out in another country while she is uh, very happy that he is in another country and you know he sends money and i'm taking care of the kids and everything like that at home but she forgets that this man needs love this man needs a lot of attention care only being on the skype with him or whatsapp call with him or on the phone with him doesn't help him he is tactile he needs to be close to you physically and emotionally he needs to be close to you and what happens is that if you let this spices man be too much away and you are not visiting him often know that write it down i would say know that another person will surely and certainly come into his life until i said that he has an earth moon or an earth rising so you have to be with him you take your children and go and be with him that's my advice to you not advice a suggestion to you because this is what happens and then you cannot blame him because he has gone to somebody else you cannot blame him he is like that he his heart is like that he needs to he needs to be surrounded he needs to be disciplined his emotions need to be disciplined also but one thing i see about him is that he can be a very spiritual being if he has completely um you know uh dedicated himself to god then at that time he becomes somebody else like his emotions are discipline the discipline is very important in this man's life because as i said for work also discipline is not something that he would like in his life he does like he's like a nomadic fish wow a nomadic fish imagine that term is free to go from sea to sea and this is where he needs to be completely you know in spirituality because that is his deeper calling is of that and at one point of time in his life he will be become extremely spiritual something will happen and he will get spiritual or he will try to get into contact um with some spiritual mentor who will guide him on this path what happens is i have seen with this man is that once his life gets a bit derailed you know or he is um deceived in an emotional relationship then this man uh, can resort to any kind of addiction um alcohol drugs uh, overeating oversleeping depressions all these kind of some kind of addiction he will get to it and then he can fall into deep depressions also because as you see the you know the fish moves upward or downwards so when it is upwards he becomes a billionaire but when it is downwards you can find him on the street also so bad it can go because this man goes lives a dangerous emotional life of extremes also and this is why um if you are dating this man then know that if you channel his energies in a very good way in a very uh, positive way i would say then there is no stopping to this man this man can do wonders he can in whatever field you put him in whatever is his expertise if you are just channelizing is disciplining him and giving him the right kind of boost then what is going to happen my dear this man is going to the heights that only i mean beyond the sky i would say not even the sky is the limit is beyond the sky is the limit because for him is beyond is the depth nobody has seen the deep deep sea the end of the sea it's like that for him so you need to channelize his energies he is a child full of those wonderful magnificent energies that need to be channelized this is what i see moreover for him it's like as he is having a lot of moods you know so his partner needs to understand those moods and those moods are regulated by the experiences he is getting in the outside world and from you all in the house or from you his partner or from his family members from his relatives from his friends his moods get 
affected and he feels a bit overcharged by those energies also. So as a partner, you have a wonderful potential because this man is, I call him the most potential partner. It's like he is somebody who can, you know, guide you, who can protect you. He can be very possessive also. Hmm? And he can look around, but you're not allowed to look around. He will feel very, very jealous or very, I would say very possessive. I've seen him as a very possessive person. He doesn't like his partner, you know, praising another man or looking around. No, he's very, very possessive. But yes, him, if he gets uh, complimented, that he usually gets complimented by women. Uh, well, but I see that uh, the, the partners of the Piscean man, they, uh, they feel very proud that, oh, my husband is getting, you know, uh, complimented. Oh, my boyfriend is getting complimented because he, he gets complimented often. But if somebody is doing that with you, um, he will not like it so much. This is what I see also. Be his companion always. Don't let him be too much alone. This is what I would suggest. Yes, dear Pisces man, alone in the sense, let him be in his own space, you know. But don't let him be distant physically from you for too, too long. Always try to get closer physically to him. This will help the relationship to be stronger and flourish. And when he needs his time off, uh, well, he will let you know it because he'll become cranky. He'll become a bit angry also. So at that time, that means, okay, let me dream and give me some space. This is his message to you. For your birthdays, he will do what he wants to make you feel like a princess, like a queen. This is what he will do. And when he's hurt, when he sees some... Uh, some bad things being done to those who are downtrodden, unfortunate, his heart will cry. He will cry. He will cry. This man is very sensitive and he can cry easily. So you have to be his strong partner there. You have to be there. He will always be there to protect you, to love you, to care for you in mystical ways, in spiritual ways. For him, religion is about uh, connecting to the higher sea. So for me, I would say that he's not more religious, he's more spiritual. Religious is too constricted. He can follow a lot of paths, he can have a lot of things, you know. But for him it is spirituality, it is more wide, vast, because he needs the pearls from every sea. And when it comes to his spiritual being, he can have a pearl from every sea. From all the religions, he will take all the pearls and then he will say, Wow, I have a treasure with me. That's how he can be. He's quite open to those views unless uh, there are those, uh, you know, very rigid conditionings of his childhood upon him. You have to know that he is a jack of all trades. He can do absolutely everything and master of some. Yes, my dear. Pisces man and yes you have the potential to be the millionaire because you can attract money very easily into your life this is what a Pisces man can do but many a times what happens is that as I said the Pisces man swims and the in the sea and there is no restriction so from one side he will swim to another side to another side and to another side and what happens in that is that he loses his direction and focus and because of that lack of discipline, it can, you know, uh, restrict him from achieving his highest potential. So the moment the Piscean heart, the Piscean man's heart is disciplined, moment he sets a timetable for himself that I have to achieve this, this, this and this in this much time. And if he sticks to it, he's the most successful man of the zodiac because he's very lucky also very rarely we will see a Pisces man who is not very well to do or who doesn't get money somehow money comes to him this is what I've seen but we cannot rely just on that he has tremendous potential my dear Pisces man you have a tremendous potential so you need to just discipline yourself write it down on the paper what should I what is my dream? What do I want to manifest? How am I going to go about it? And 
until when give yourself the time limit and everything you know reach my dear Pisces man so thank you my dear Pisces man lover Pisces man and all your loved ones who are watching thank you so much for watching the Pisces man video please do let me know how did you like this video in your comments and please do like share and comment uh, share it with uh, all those uh, women who are linked to the Pisces man in some way or another uh, well if you have a Pisces man's heart cherish it it's like a pearl and pearls are rare the real pearls are rare okay don't lose it my dear ones so thank you very much and i shall see you next time with another video until then take good care of yourself bye bye god bless bye